Chitty Chat out here and welcome to another vlog video guys, welcome to another different vlog video guys as per normal, I'm always doing different stuff with vlogs and today we are talking about, well, these things, we're talking about plush today, so I'm going to briefly tell you, because Christmas is not far around the corner, I know we haven't had Halloween yet, but Christmas is not far around the corner and I'm going to show you the latest plush that I've ordered and arrived. It's arrived yesterday and I really want to open these up properly so they can sit and be awesome. Um, but first of all, we are going to talk, like I say, plush. So with plush, I know that you, a lot of people have got friends out there who they want to get them something nice for Christmas and things like that and plush are a very good way of showing that because it also shows that you know what the person's favourite Pokemon is as well as a plush that you know that they may like but I bet you're wondering where I get mine from because I know people have asked me and also how can you tell a fake from a real one? Now there are a lot of fakes out there unfortunately but also fortunately because the fake ones are cheaper obviously but I wouldn't recommend you as supporting them but I can tell you how to see a fake from a real one and also how to see a good one as well just a general good plush around so this one that I'm holding this one is actually a fake plush believe it or not this one is obviously a butterfree but it's the butterfree from bye bye butterfree i have shown it on camera before and this is actually a fake plush and it's a very good plush you can see from the seams of the wings the underneath here and also you can check its label as well i'm just going to show there it just says in china with the test rating mark there that isn't an official plush what is an official plush um i think that one isn't this one is this one definitely is um so this is a really old plush this is my pidgeotto plush this is a real plush and what i mean by that is it's got this label underneath here and it actually says on there and this is what you're looking for in plush is either this one because this one's quite an old one it says nintendo creatures inc uh, game Freak. Now normally it only says Pokemon Center now because there's the Pokemon Center line But if it says any of that on there, that is that means it's a proper Proper plush. It's like with some of these. These are real I believe This one's real because it's a Tony one because Tony is the English um, Have the English rights to do Pokemon also if you can see really really come on camera can't see because of the light. It actually says Nintendo there as well. So this one is a real plush. So you tend to look for that kind of thing because obviously that's the people who make the Pokemon stuff. So how can you tell a really good plush? Well, I'm going to show you some of mine. Now these are sort of real. Um, these are rare. I've never found a full set until now, but we're going to show you. In fact, I'm going to get this is the big, I'll show you this now. This is the big package. I'll blur all that out. This is the big package that actually came for me. Um, it is massive. I bet you can hear all the rustling. I'll get these guys out. Um, but I treated myself. I'm going to put that down there recently to these guys. So first of all, this is of Zapdos, Articuno and Moltres. So Mystic, uh, Mystic Valor and instincts mascots as well as just being the general legendary birds i wanted to collect the legendary birds but i wanted some really unique plush of them uh these are the latest ones i'm probably going to do a blog about these as well so first of all we're going to start with articuno so this is articuno as you can see these plush are very big i need to put my computer just back a bit off my there we go these plush are massive i will actually show you how big these plush are. He actually covers me. There you go. I am an Articuno now. I am one with the Articuno. So this is Articuno. These are chibi plush. Um, so they sort of have the big head and the little toy wings. So this one's Articuno. I like Articuno. Um, but these plush are 
sort of, I want to say these are semi-real. I think these are a side company that, so they're not actually Pokemon Center plush, which are sort of the big, big merchandising that Nintendo do. Um, also, apologies with the light. Uh, so these are, it does say Pokemon Center there, um, but it doesn't actually say it on the bottom. So these are half, I would say these are half official ones, um, but they are really hard to find in a full set because... I can always find Articuno, can always find Zapdos, but Moltres seems to not be anywhere. But these are, I want to say they're semi-good, um, because you've got the material under here, it's not sewn on like it should be. The tail bit goes, well, the crest goes at the front, and its tail is sort of half, yeah. I mean, but apart from that, it is a good quality plush. It's not bad for quality. Um, if you want me to do more videos on plush as well, guys, I will I will quite happily. I was so happy to see this package. So this one, hold on, here he is. You saw him briefly. This this is my favourite one, I want to say, out of the three. As much as I like Articuno, Zapdos looks pretty adorable. Don't you, Zapdos? You look so cute. I wish Articuno had these eyes, but it doesn't. Again, really solid plush, but you can tell it's just a little bit cheaper than a normal one because these aren't sewn together like they should be, and at the tail as well. Um, but overall, not a bad plush. The seams are pretty good. I mean, you can flick his things at the front like that, but that's not bad. But generally, for a big plush, it's not that bad. It's quite cute. It's adorable, and you will be seeing more of these later. So that's Zapdos. Again, I'll have a picture of all three of them together as well. And, and like I say, picture of the packaging that came in. And finally, um, we have Moltres. Moltres is the most disappointing out of the plush for me. Um, the top isn't too bad. Again, really cute. Um, like I say, I'm trying to get a good, good view of him. But the problem is his wings. Now, for some reason... The manufacturer thought it'd be great to put some sort of sort of levery bits on these wings to make it shiny, which it hasn't quite worked out. And I don't know why they didn't just do what they did at the top, but for some reason they've just done this, which I don't know why. Same with the tail, and I think it kind of just spoils it a little bit, which is a shame. But this is the Moltres. And it's not, again, it's not bad. This is sort of, I want to say it's like an off-brand, like to, uh, Toby, which is like what the English made plushies are, uh, a build a bear and things like that. So I think that's what um, they, they are. Uh, compared to like something like this, um, this one is an official one. This is a shiny Magikarp that I have. Um, again, it's an official one. It's a Pokemon Center one. It's just there. Um, I try and keep most of the labels on, but not all of them. Um, but, like, my chat up one's an official one. Uh, this one is the Bulbasaur one. But this has got the label on that I was talking about that you see in the in the more modern plushies. So I'm so talking 2000 onwards, which is they tend to have a Pokeball on it with Pokemon Center and then the date it was made with Game Freak and Creatures Inc. and everything on there. I mean, that's just a Bulbasaur plush that I picked up. There's plenty of other plushies over there, which are my Polka Doll collection, which is of all the Eevees. I'll probably put a little picture there. But these these are the plush that I've come. And overall, I've got to say, out of all the three that I've got here, um, Zapdos is definitely um, a good favourite. And I like plush this size because they're huggable. I like huggable plushes. I, it's one of the things I like. I don't really see my friends too... Well, I do see my friends often. But I like hugging things. Hugs are my thing. So I like having huggable plushes. Um, plus I like collecting them as well. I've got to admit, I do probably have a bit of a problem with plush. I've got them everywhere now. Um, but yeah, so really the main things that you need to look at for good plush, where do I get my plush? Because that is one thing that people do ask me. Dead simple. I just browse around on like places like Wish and eBay. Mainly eBay. I'm not sponsored by these guys. Um, but you've got to be a bit savvy with knowing what your fake are and what your real are. Because um, if you're not and you buy a bad fake 
like this one because I like the faking one they make like I like this one because it's like say the bye bye butterfree um uh, butterfree you can get the normal butterfree too I mean oh I was just about to grab my Mimikyu plush but it just fell off I got this one from here as well I don't think this one's an official one either it's a waylord plush but it's really chibi and cute and I did have the label for this but I think I topped it off um, but I really like that there is one that is a proper big waylord too that you can get that you can use the cushion which is pretty cool so there are a lot of really cool plushies there the main thing you got to look out for is if they've got something like a pokeball symbol like that um, whether they actually have a proper label at the bottom like this this is what you're looking for and that's how you can tell an official from um, a non-official plush non-official plushies are okay but you just got to be aware that they're probably going to be lower quality and there's just going to be a couple of niggles uh, with the plush but you just got to be very observant when you're looking at the pictures and stuff like that and just be a little bit careful and also read what sizes they are like for example the metagross plush that i have is a big plush that is quite a big plush that one is i believe 12 inches 12 inches maybe a bit bigger these guys i want to say are 12 to 13 these are a bit bigger than the metagross i would say only just so these are the biggest plush that i own um currently <laughs> um i mean the vulpix plush is quite big that's i think that's a uh, 10 something like that so just be aware of how big you're buying because you might get a really shocking surprise i mean the mimikyu plush that i have as well that's nine inches so you can get them in a variety of sizes i would say if you're starting to collect plush or you want to buy start buying plush by yourself if you like the evolution plushies like the little polka doll plushies that i have which are tiny i've already probably shown a picture of them they are a very good place to start they're relatively cheap to get to get the whole collection it's not that expensive um you can usually get sets of them or you can buy them individually it's up to you they're relatively cheap like i said you just got to be careful and just read all the clauses and everything and it will show you everything you just got to make sure you read everything on there um, because it'll tell you all the details you need to know because they have to put that in otherwise they can't sell um, but uh, yeah those are my official sort of tips for buying plush if you've got any other if you want a proper video plush where I show you everything as in every plush that I own that's Pokemon wise so I won't show you actually no I might show you the not the non Pokemon stuff as well because I do have some non Pokemon plush as well um, then I can do a video on that um, if you guys like it comment down below if you want that and also comment what is your favorite plush that you've ever seen on my channel as well as commenting down below about what plush that you have um, I've got to say one of my favorite plush is definitely got to be the ones that are currently uh, with me which is I like my Spiriting plush, the Chatot plush, my Salamence plush, my little chibi Salamence as well as my Metagross plush as well because I always think that one's really awesome and I think it's really cool. Anyway guys I've chatted on enough as per normal. If you like this video like I said please like, please subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys know exactly when I'm uploading, exactly when, well hopefully I'll be streaming one day, maybe one day. Also, guys, if you like this video as well, there's plenty of other vlogs. Go and check them out. There is a whole playlist of them. There's also a Halloween playlist as well, guys, if we're, like, say, you're into the Halloween horror stuff, as well as there are some horror guest games and all sorts of madness on the channel to watch as well. Anyway, guys, again, chat on enough as per normal, and I will see you in the next video. But remember, guys, chat on!